more than $2 billion, according to the Federal Trade Commission. That's how much money has been lost in 2022 to imposter fraud. And as millions of Americans go through open enrollment for Medicare and Medicaid, experts say a popular form of imposter fraud is scammers scheming to steal your critical health information. Well, specifically with Medicare, it's basically trying to get a Medicare beneficiary to believe something that's not true in order to convince them to give their Medicare number to you. Kathy Stokes, who runs the Fraud Watch Network for AARP, says the con artists use fake caller ID names and numbers to impersonate Medicare or popular health care organizations, all in an effort to steal your info and sell it on the dark web to the highest bidder. We really have to focus on not engaging to begin with because they're that good. Once we engage, it can be game over. The AARP shared with us testimonies from people who contacted their fraud hotline. Complaints included scammers offering fake gifts and posing as Medicare agents. In separate instances, victims turned over Social Security numbers and credit card info to fraudulent callers. If you are being targeted by a Medicare or Medicare scam um, and you get a phone call from the government or someone claiming to be from the government, hang up. Hillary Donnell works for Aura, a digital safety company. She's heard from victims of medical identity theft who have lost more than $13,000 in fake medical bills. Donnell says in some of the worst cases, this type of scam can also affect a victim's health. You know, medical identity theft can result in the victim losing access to their health benefits, um, facing delays in getting critical care, or even getting a misdiagnosis or the wrong treatment plan because of a medical history that was created by a scammer um, and that isn't real for that victim. So before you give out your health care information, experts like Donnell say, think about what you're doing. Don't be afraid to hang up the phone. And remember, if this happens to you, don't be embarrassed. You're not alone. These scams affect anybody and they can take a variety of different forms. Um, and hackers and scammers are becoming more and more sophisticated in an effort to, to convince you um, to fall victim to the scams. With this watching your wallet, I'm Carice Jackman.